Okay, didn't foresee this. So got it to, um, it got up to 100 milliamps uh, on that slower charge, and it says it's full. So that's not good. That's just really not good. I'm going to go back and uh, I was using a precautionary setting here. The 6 millivolt per cell. I'm actually going to change that to 7. That is the default between uh, the, the best uh, uh, the most powerful charge I believe if I read that right. it's This is the best between um, the most powerful charge versus the longest lasting charge. So I'm going to get that there. As you can see the capacity cut off. This thing is pretty cool. You can also, uh, like if you're out, out and about and you don't have a wall socket, you can plug it in. Um, there's alligator clips with a little plug there. And you can plug that, uh, plug that into a car battery. So if you're out, you know, out in a remote control car, uh, racetrack, which I have not been to yet, but I've seen them from the highway a few times, you can uh, you can use this there, but I assume they would have some kind of power set up. Alright, so here's a manual charge, discharge, so I'm going to try and, oops, I'm going to try and, let's see, maybe I should go to auto, there we go. Go automatic, and I'm gonna crank it up to six amps. That's it. Look at that. Even without a discharge, it settled back down to one volt. So here we'll see this thing. Uh, we should see it start spitting out some amperage because I have it cranked up to number six. You can see there, it's only taking one milliamp so far. That's not right. I did put it on automatic, so... I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to expect from that. But let's go ahead and... Oops. Put that back to manual. Set that at 6 amps. Turn it back on. See if it gets up to six amps. There it goes. All right, now it's really giving it the juice. I mean, the charger I've had this battery on since it's been in my possession, it does spit out six amps. Uh, actually, six amps at five volts, which is a lot of power. But maybe that's divided by four. So. I'm really not sure. This is very experimental. I'd like to hear if this will work, if this won't work. Again, this is just me trying to recondition the battery. Uh, the keyboard batteries seem to be okay. They're happy. I can't remember the last time I had to charge them. Uh, it's the best when the keyboard batteries die and you're playing a game and all of a sudden your, your person stops moving, you can't get in your inventory, you can't push escape to pause the game. You don't have a weapon selected. Things are coming to kill you, or you're falling, or, or bad things are happening. Okay, there it's doing a cycle where it uh, it stops charging and then starts charging again. I can't just I cannot stay still for a million dollars. There, I can't. Yeah, that's about as still as I can get. I'm just not in a comfortable spot. But uh, these things, um, you know, these automatic battery chargers are really cool. I, I imagine this being a, a cheaper one, that the, the much better ones out there, there's probably a lot more that they can do. Although this one seems like it can do a lot. I can do a charge and discharge cycle up to, up to five cycles. So I could like set this phone up, or I could set this camera up to watch this go and just cycle itself for a while, which I'll probably do in a minute here. Uh, I'm going to verify that my battery is charged here, and uh, yeah, I think I'm going to set up a video of the battery charger charging the battery five cycles. But I'm going to hang out here for probably one more minute. 
while this is charging. We'll wait till it has three minutes of time on it. See what happens. I'm going to touch the battery here. It is not warm at all. The machine itself is not that warm. I think this will this machine will warm up a lot more uh, using the discharge versus the charge because it's such a small amount of current it's using. It really doesn't even suck much power out of the wall. So, but uh, discharging, you know, and even on a one one battery here, one cell of power, I don't think the discharge will make too much heat. Anyways, this is not the um, this is not the model with the fan. Although I'm very handy and I have a couple of fans on hand, small computer fans that I probably could make a fan for this. But once I start charging the the bigger battery packs, the uh, the 3300s. If I do get those up to six amps on charge, then I probably will consider putting a fan. But this is going pretty good here. I think the most current the battery accepted last was 400 milliamp hours. So right now it's already at 300 and climbing. And if I remember, I I did an experiment on another battery before I decided to do the video with this battery um, another battery actually no two other batteries uh, kicked up to 1.9 and then 2.1 volts so the fact that this one's still at 1.7 maybe it's just got to be reconditioned right I don't know I'm not sure this is a learning process for me um, attempting to revive a bad battery normally I would just chuck it and go buy another four pack but there's a lot with these batteries, uh, rechargeable batteries, that you can, you know, keep them for a few years. My first set of energizers lasted a long time. I, I could think maybe four years. Um, two of them are still relics in my room, somewhere hidden. So maybe one day when I find those, I will attempt to revive them if this works. And here we're already approaching 400 uh, milliamp hours of charge. So that's not bad. I think 440 or 414 was the last one, so I'm going to end this video here and prepare, um, prepare for what happens next.